Hello, everybody. We are now doing a redo of What If Deku Was Ink and Errors Was Well. Instead of being being Ink and Error, he's going to be the son of Ink and Error. Yep. And I think, and I really like this version I did of him. And What If Deku Was Ink and Error is now gone. <laughs> From my memory. Okay. UA is a college. Ink and Error made Izuku like PJ Ingredient. And since they were children of the Destroyer and Creator, they were neutral and never really had a healthy relationship with their parents or Ink and Error. They, cha- they hanged out with each other since they were the only company each other had. Ink and Error didn't know the consequences of having kids and not raising them properly. They, the kids, well, Ink and Error, PJ, or Paper Jam, and Izuku found it annoying, but not enough to yell. It was fine, but irritating. Izuku then met one of the creators that created the dimension of Split split Realities. I cannot do this. I'm trying to cuss less, because, like, My mom found out about my YouTube channel. She's subscribed, but I don't think she watches any of my videos. Because she only, like, goes on YouTube for, like, songs and stuff. So, no more cursing. At least a bit. (sighs) Okay. So, basically, a dimension is, like, the whole multiverse. Like, with, like, ink, air, dream... Um, nightmares, sands, uh, blueberry or swap sand, swap bell. Yeah, everybody. And then a different dimension is like uh, dream swap and stuff where everyone's uh, like places like switched. Basically, like that. Okay. Now that I've explained that. Okay. They're given the chance to be reborn into a different reality. To get away from ink and error and their expectations. Since they do push on their expectations on their children. Izuku, Grady, and PJ take the offer and the creator says that they will be turned into humans but will will look similar to their skeleton counterparts and that they will have to learn about the world as they grow up in years and they will be mortal so if they die, they will die. If they, they will die. But they will reincarnate and forget everything except some, some things like skills and very memorable moments in their lives. The creator then brings their souls to their hand and says, You will still have the abilities of monster souls and will still be brothers, so don't worry much. Izuku holds PJ's and G's hand, Gradient, hand and says, You guys better not abandon me. <laughs> they hug Izuku and says, We won't, Zuzu. Then they get reborn into the world of my hero. I do not own a any of the art in this video just saying i love i love the fan art though just like i'm getting distracted we'll stay here for now we'll stay right there for now okay Uh, where were we? Izuku opens his eyes and sees a woman with green hair, and she turn he turns his head to his brothers, but human. Izuku reaches out to his brothers, and his brothers reach out for, for him. Inko thinks it's cute. Izuku, G, and PJ are triplets, and were oddly close for just being two and three year olds. Izuku and his siblings never really hanged out with others the other kids their age izuku had was okay so the color palette i like picked out was like dusty rose and if you don't know what that is like dusty rose 
it's like this or this and like you can like but that's gonna be like the main color like how like his main color is just like um like blue and stuff and like how he's like the main color of like this and like he's mainly like blue and stuff and like he has like yellow and pink like it's usually just pink yeah it's like that but everything else you can like imagine in your head he has dusty rose colored strings he has vitiligo black hair with some pink here and there Izuku sometimes glitches, but only when he's mad or sad. Has a matching scarf like the rest of his brothers. He does have a glitch tablet and a pen like G's gradients, but also has a colored paper and paintbrush and with some vials of paint slash um, spray paint. Like... Uh, that's for a different what if. <laughs> hmm. I will need to find it. I think it's back here. There we go. Graffiti. We're gonna stay there for now. Uh, wrong one. Wrong thing I was trying to press. <laughs> okay. Where was I now? Um, G and spray paint and has a messenger bag to hold everything inside. Izuku was called Sue. Gradient's called GT or G. And Paper Jam is called PG. GT is the nerd bro brother, but is most is the most sober if they ever drink and will beat you up with a bat after you get sober for drinking so much. Izuku is like the chill, smart, and will smack the sh out of you if you disrespect him or his family. PJ is that ride or die person and hype, but smart. Inch enough interesting enough izu gt and pj are 13 when they first go to middle school and they walk in they all say in unison hi we're the midoriya triplets pj goes first and says i'm price jackson midoriya of course that's just a cover name his actual name is pj uh his actual name is um paper jam midoriya but like they didn't really Oh, well, PJ didn't really want them like to call like um call him like Paper Jam. So yeah. And he's my name is Price Jackson Midoriya. But you can call me PJ. Gradient goes next next and says, I'm Gradient Midoriya, but you can call me G or G T. Then Izuku go goes up and says, I'm Izuku Midoriya, but you can call me Z. -Z. They smile and go to their seat right next to each other. The class goes wild and starts spreading the news about the new students. The triplets were famous by the next day. After school, they walk downtown to get some coffee and sweets. PJ gets a coffee, Gradient gets a vanilla bean, and Izuku gets hot chocolate cookies and brownies. There's about 12 of each. He has one... Uh, chocolate, um, hot chocolate, 12 cookies, and 12 brownies. <clears throat> PJ says, Izuku, you cannot eat that all by yourself. Izuku smart says, want a bet? PJ says, if you will, I will personally buy you 10 more of those and give you 50 bucks. Gradient says, no, 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 we are not doing this again. PJ, just don't question it. And Izuku Stop trying to get all PJ's money. Izuku says, well, it's not my fault he always bets his money. <laughs> Izuku laughs, and PJ gives GT a death st PJ gives GT and Izuku a death glare. 
But G, G just flicks him on the forehead and says, Come on, let's go. They were walking home and joking around. But then it starts to rain. They run to the the closest shelter from the rain, and Izuku takes out his po- takes his phone out of his pocket and says to his brothers, "I'm gonna tell mom we're gonna we're stuck." Izuku calls Inko and says, "Hi, mom. GT and PJ and me are stuck in the rain. We found some shelter, so don't worry." Inko says, "Were you really? Well, then don't take too long to come back." Izuku says, "Okay, we'll be fine." He hangs up and they walk to a store to get some umbrellas and start walking home. They go home and t- take a sh- take a shower and got some comfy clothes and hung out in Izuku's room. Since like um they went to all like through that all like not really trauma but neglect together since like Ink and Air did neglect their children since like I'm pretty sure that's canon with like Grady and PJ since like yeah. Okay, let me continue. <laughs> Hang out in Izuku's room. GJ takes out his tablet. Uh, examples. I need examples. Uh, there we go. And takes out his tablet and pen to study. PJ takes out his paint and brush and paper. And Izuku takes out his glitch screen, which is similar to this, but like pink or like rose, dust rose pink or whatever you think. Like this and like, like basically like a screen, like those like computer screens but like there's nothing connected to it so he can just like it's like a touch screen you know gg then says i kind of don't like school i don't really want to go to school izuku says yeah i'd rather be homeschooled for the rest of middle school pj says yeah (sighs) they all sigh and continue to study the next day they go to school and are approached by a spiky haired boy hey you're new, right? They all say in unison, Yeah, and what is it to you? The boy gets a bit unsettled how they all said it in unison without a second thought. And says, Well, I have to show I have to show you around, so let's go. They say in unison, okay. They talk and he's showing them around and find out his name is Katsuki Bakugo. They start to talk even more, and he was pretty okay dude. He may have some temper, but that's nothing that friendship can't fix, or therapy. Uh, <laughs> but he was pretty chill for someone who has anger issues, like a Pomeranian. Bakugo actually likes the triplets, and they hang out for the rest of the time they go there. Izuku was the most buddy-buddy with Bakugo over the years, and they were actually best friends. Over the years, they get some close friends, and they become really popular. Their friends are unimportant, but if you want to make OCs, if y'all want, just go for it. Just make them in the comments. I don't care. Just just let me know if you want to ship them. Okay, I'll, I'll name them. At least, like, every triplet has two f- friends, so that makes six, f- six um, OCs you have to work with. <clears throat> they go to UA high school. So, like, I took this from, like, another person's, like, what if how, like, UA's, like, the main college, like, where they train to become heroes, and then, like, there's, like, a high school where, like, they're prepared to be heroes, but they don't do much, like, hero work, you know? Like, it's less vicious instead of being attacked by by villains 24-7, but that's just, Yeah. And this is where Izuku and his siblings meet the MHA cast. Gradient and PJ walk. Izuku, Gradient, and PJ walk into class and they sit down in the circle that has been formed to get to know each other. 
They choose to say, my name is Aoi Yui, and I'll be your teacher. We will share our names and a fact about you or Quirk. Now you can go first. Mina goes first and says, I'm Mina Ashido, and my fact, or I mean, my fact is I do dance for a sport. <clears throat> my name is Sarah Hanta, and my quirk is tape. Oh, what? Araka, then Araka. Hi, my name is Sochako Araka, and my quirk is zero gravity. Then he, Todoroki's. My name is Shoto Todoroki, and I don't really want to share. The teacher says, oh, that's okay. Then PJ's turn. Hi, I'm Prince Jack Price Jackson Midoriya, and one of three triplets. Grady goes next. I'm Grady Midoriya, also one of the Midoriya triplets, and like my brother, like my brother Price. And lastly, Izuku's turn. Izuku. Hi, I'm the last triplet. My name is Izuku Midoriya. Then sit down. Izuku's class then finishes the introductions and they get to class started. Class goes on and after they talk to each other because going, they're going to be classmates, Bako walks over and joins the triplets back seat. Since they're all in a circle and, ba and Bakugo says, what are you doing over here, occult? Izuku, G, and PJ, without missing a beat, says, Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> Bako's face goes to jokingly to, Hold up, hold up. <laughs> oh, Bako says, Are you guys serious? Izuku and PJ says, No. <laughs> like in unison. Izuku says, We would probably start a cult. PJ says, We wouldn't even know we started a cult until we looked up what the cult is. <laughs> Izuku says, we would do that, though. G face palms and says, neither of us are starting a cult. Now, no cult starting. Izuku and Bakugo and PJ laugh at Gr Gradient's comment. The bell, the bell rings for the next class, and the four of them walk to their next class down the hall. That is the end. Yay! Sorry if this is a bit short than my other videos, since this is like only three pages, so please do forgive me. Do I sound... Okay. So, I, um, just so you know, I am working on another What If, and I will be continuing the Rambo What If, and I will probably drop my Filza what if soon or it's I'd actually deleted that one actually I'm doing what if Deku was was the reincarnation of the sleepy boys and culprit plus Tubbo yes Tubbo, Tubbo is part of it and I'm do also doing what if Deku was the dream team plus bad boy Halo so I have just started on what if Deku was bad boy hey, was um was dream and bad was dream team and bad boy halo so you will have to wait for that one for a while if you actually want to see it <laughs> so um I might just like do this tomorrow or what if Deku was a reincarnation of sleepy boys I might actually do this tomorrow if I want to make more since it's only three episodes and stuff. So, yeah. And this, uh, my What If Deku was, was the son of Ink and Era Sam's will be, uh, well, more like I'm trying to um, continue What If Deku was, in, was Dream and Technoblade and in a zombie apocalypse. I'm trying, but my creativity for this one has um gone well is gone. So I might postpone or I might just cancel the whole series. I'm sorry that if you really liked it, but I really do not have the energy to try to make more 
I have this thing where I start what ifs, but I don't finish them. So if I never finish one, please don't blame me. I like making new ones. Also, I'm doing what if Deku was a Kitsune and what if Deku was a Tengu. If you don't know what that is, uh, you might want to search it up. And I really, really am like, like, I'm pretty sure this one's really original. Like, what if Deku was a Tengu? Like, I'm pretty sure that's really original. Unless I'm... (sighs) Unless I'm not. So, thank you for watching and, uh, goodbye!